What is up you guys? Matt McKeever here and so in today's video, me and my good buddy Dan DeVoe, we walked through one of his current project properties. This is a project property in Sarnia, Ontario. Now a few caveats, you may notice this video is from a while ago. It was before I had the beard, there was also still snow on the ground. But the reason that I thought let's brush off this video from the archives is, well, I'm having a hard time keeping up on my YouTube channel right now, mainly because of all the plan for OREC. It turns out planning a giant conference, a two-day event, uh, takes way more time and effort than me and Jeff Weibel probably gave it credit for. So I figured let's dive into the archives, see if I could find some great footage. And this is the video I found. It's actually quite awesome. It's just Dan showing me around one of his project properties. And actually, I'm pretty sure he's probably getting close to done that one now. So we'll definitely have to go back and do a follow-up. But the gist of it is, five plex he bought in Sarnia, Ontario for under $100,000. Now, I think it's going to cost him something like two, three hundred thousand in total renovations by the time he's done. Very interesting project, and you guys know Dan's an awesome guy, very great at kind of showing us around his projects, and always just very friendly and helpful. And so he's also just a prime example of the type of speakers you're going to see at OREC 2018. So all the information to OREC is in the video description down below. I won't bore you with all that, but definitely get your ticket. I want to see you guys there. And make sure you come say hi to guys like me and Dan if you come out to OREC. All right, well, let's just dive into today's video. Thanks, guys. Man, talk about geo arbitrage. People just need to come and move it to uh, Sarnia. It's a friend of mine, actually, that used to own it. Oh, okay. Um, he owned it for a few years. It just never, it just never took off. And um, anyway, he ended up losing it, but uh, in, and it sat empty for almost two years. And um, it came up, and I thought, oh, what the hell? Maybe give it a go because it's got—it's another one of those mixed-use things. Yeah. It's got four apartments in this one, and a um, commercial, small commercial in the uh, main floor here. Yeah. And uh, but it was a total gut job. I don't know if this one. We'll see if this one pays, pays yeah. off or not. But it's—it's uh, a—it's a, it's a big project, and it's a tough one. It's, um, come on in to my latest project. Nice to see you. <laughs> Do you mind sharing what the acquisition cost was, Dan? Yeah, I paid uh, I paid ninety seven thousand for this. And yeah, I'm trying to keep my jaw from dropping. Yeah, okay. I know. So I paid ninety seven thousand dollars for this. Originally, um, my bid was I think it was eighty five, and then the day of closing, or not closing, but the day of the um, I don't know what they call that. Um, Anyway, the realtor called me and said, "There's another offer. You got to, uh, you got to either, you know, put your best offer in." Yeah. And I said, "Oh, you know, shit. What am I gonna do?" And he said, "I don't know. It, it could. You, you got to just make a guess what you think." Yeah. So I threw 97 out there. I wanted to be under 100, so I threw 97 out there, and of course I got it. But could have been the offer could have been 60. I don't yeah. know, right? But uh, interesting. Anyway, I want to show you how crazy it is. So this is just yeah. a little restaurant yeah. part. So be careful going around. Actually, I'm going to turn on the lights. So okay. just let me, yeah, you guys stay here a second. I'll turn the lights on. 97,000 guys. Uh, 97,000 dollars. So when are you going to get me in 97,000 five plex in Sarnia, Dan? Yeah. I'll come down to Sarnia if you get me this. Well, I've already spent about 200,000. <laughs> I don't doubt it. This is what it looks like. So, yeah. uh, okay, so come on down. This is a little crazy, so be careful looking around here. Yep. So we had about 15 dumpsters uh, oh, at yeah. $650 a pop uh, <laughs> of junk to get rid of. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so down here we had to rip out all the walls and everything that was down here. So down here the uh, this was actually walls. There was walls everywhere. So we ripped all the walls out and of course we you know redid the structure here so yeah. it's safe and uh, it's safe and it'll pass code now. But come and check out this electrical system that I just got put in. Oh wow. Yeah. Check how crazy that is. Uh -huh. So everything's going to be separately metered, obviously. Yeah, that's what a $20,000 <laughs> system looks like. Okay, follow me up here, be careful. Okay, so this is going to be a two bedroom apartment. This, we're still on the main floor, obviously. We're still on the main floor, okay? okay? So this yeah. is going to be a two bedroom uh, apartment, a really cool one. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, this amazing high ceilings. We're going to have this big island here. Nice. That's going to be the entrance way. We don't have the, the hole in the wall yet. We're waiting until we're done before okay. I cut the hole yeah. in the wall. So then we're going to come in that way. This is the two bedroom apartment. Everything in this building is actually the same as it was before. Um, you know, we just 
moved a couple walls and stuff, but yeah. essentially everything is still in the same place as it was before. The plumbing and everything. The bathroom was here and we're just so, still here. How, so so sorry, it's all of this? The two bedroom yeah. apartment? Mm -hmm. how, many, how many square feet is that? It's that like about a thousand here. square feet, yeah. something. What yeah. would that, what do you think it'll rent for? Well, I'm hoping to get around a thousand a month. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Man. Yeah, it's a good If I lived in I'd want to live here. Yeah, you're right downtown. So you stumble right home from the brewery. That's it. Exactly. You walk across the street, boom. So so this is gonna be the laundry room for the apartment. Jeez. Yeah. The bachelor apartment I could rent for five fifty. Yeah, so this is uh so this is gonna be the laundry room for the tenants upstairs. Oh so okay. There's three tenants upstairs. Yeah. Okay. So there's gonna be a back entrance. Nice. Okay, and then you got the stairs that go up here. So, It'll be yeah. a nice little spot though. Yeah, so this is a cool little apartment. It's kind of small, but it's So a, what do you think, what would this bachelor apartment rent uh, out for? About 500, 550, Man, talk about geo arbitrage. People just need to come and move it to uh, Sarnia. Yeah. Okay, so you have this cool bedroom, this massive yeah, bedroom. Double windows, awesome. Yeah, and so then come check this out. So then you go down this little thing here to get to the apartment. Right? Yeah. The bedroom, you got a separate area for the bedroom. This would be your cool living room. You have a nice. the kitchen there, and then you have your bathroom there. Nice. Right? This is really nice. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a super cool little part of it. Decent little kitchen, too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Living room here. Yeah. Now, it sucks to have your bathroom kind of that, so close yeah. right in your living room, but you know, you, you got to do what right. you got to do, right? And then, then you got this nice kitchen here. Nice. Okay, so that's three bedrooms up, one bedroom down, and yeah. you got the commercial space. But as you can see, it's a massive undertaking. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everything had to be rewired. Yeah. Everything has to, every single thing had to be redone. You know, yeah. lot, you know, every single thing. Yeah, the electrical adds up so fast. Oh yeah, the electrical is going to be out of this world and. So, that was a fantastic video, am I right? If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and definitely check out the other videos YouTube wants you to check out. But, until next time, remember, Dan's a real guy that's actually crushing it in real life. If you want to surround yourself with more people that are taking real action in real markets and getting real results, you need to come out to events like OREC 2018. All the information's in the video description down below. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Definitely come up and say hi to myself as well as Dan. I know Dan will get a kick out of it. All right, until next time, remember, making money is a team sport. There's more than enough money in this world for us to all make it, but if you're not saving it, I mean, like, what's the point, guys? Thanks. Bye.